Now <laughs> is the drawing part. Oh, so you, you want me to actually draw on it? Yeah, draw how you would fix them. I'm ready to go. I just don't know how <laughs> bad I can be. He wants this covered. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> it's like a weekend at Bernie's situation. That's like they a just sexy went... selfie, you know. <laughs> Definitely, I would do some biomechanics here. So, I guess if you're gonna go for a clown, you might as well look like a clown. Yeah, in fact, that should maybe be a mess pipe. There we are. <laughs> With special effects and everything. Oh, I like the devil. Yeah, the it's devil coming, coming out of the coming, smoke. Yeah, uh, coming out of the smoke. That's all you gotta do. Just, just give Tim a call at Clean Slate. There ain't no coming back from this shit. But this guy has very terrible face tattoos. I always thought that these were pretty cool. You just get him a ski mask and you tell him to wear it everywhere. Instead of covering, learn a new identity. Considering an Instagram, if you're crazy enough, you can make money being the biggest doofus on the planet. So I was just actually extended to a full bodysuit and just start a life in Instagram influencing. <laughs> Look, it's like, it's like that dude who wants facial hair really bad but can't grow it. This is what happens when you fall asleep and get tattooed. Yep. You end up like this guy, don't be this guy. For those clients who don't want to get laser, but since he kind of already has the shape of a skull, on his face? No, it's a skull. What are you talking? Draw your own cover up. Like all you could hope to do with something like this is just improve it, you know, make, give it better shapes, better flow. I certainly wouldn't want to try to cover it with, uh, you know, like a big full color thing. I think that person is a legend and will go down in history as the worst tattoo ever, and they should leave that. I think, uh, again, I will give her um, a piece of clothing. Black square. <laughs> <laughs> Black no out, looks real nice, super clean. Oh, yeah. looks good, it looks nice and clean. What if we like really got into cooking and we made this into a mitten, like that? You're like, I'm going straight for the eyebrows. Her eyebrows are fucking whack. She has a very uh, pickle-shaped head, so I just decided to turn her into Pickle Rick. Laser would be great, but um, usually I do one of my like cute little animals. They're dark and mysterious. So if you try to make something uh, like this, you know, it has some problems of saturation, so we can just like blast over something over it, and if you have good saturation, you can have maybe multiple passes and, and fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a nice big cap of yellow mustard and turn her into what I like to call a proper, no, oh, hold on, hold on. We need to make her a proper hot dog. Yeah, recently I saw this video posted that a buddy of mine, Shane Smith, had done. And he's a guy who he likes to advertise that he's unafraid of any cover up. And it showed probably about, it's like a, a super fast, you know, time lapse. And it showed probably 10 different sketches he did over the same, you know, nasty old tattoo. And I just, uh, I thought it was cool because he didn't just settle for the first sketch, you know. He uh, kept pushing it and, you know, made sure he had a bunch of different uh, options to look at before even starting to, you know, do a more refined uh, and, and finished drawing. Where do these people get these ideas? I guess a small wiener ride would be cheap. Yeah, because like I feel like a big wiener ride would at least cost a dollar. Confidence is key. He is just owning it. He really is. Good for him. I don't want to cover these up because I like this as a warning as a female who is single. If I saw this, I knew that this date would not go longer. So I don't have, I've, got, I've got nothing else. You just put a sad face because he's got a small wiener and then you also five cents. It makes it cheaper. If I would need to add something to the two, I would put very. Oh, brava. Right? <laughs> With roses like this, you could manipulate the lines where you want to go. You can never really cover up a tattoo. Like the only thing that covers up black people is black. Let's just lower the price. Give him a bargain. Put like a red cube on over it. Wait, can we make this? Put him on clearance. Should we make this a um, razor blade? <laughs> should I say in the back or should I say rear? My English is not so good. 
but you get it in the in the rear it sounds more poetic in the rear what I'm showing here is how if you're careful with your line placement you can hide stuff without having to go solid black there's no such thing as solid black I think people don't understand this about tattoos there's even black it can be even enough that it looks solid but it starts becoming translucent the minute that person heals and so if you're covering something else with that even black anywhere that the old tattoo is is going to be slightly blacker okay i figured it out we are going to do a giant bald eagle here and in the talons we are going to put half a penis because according to this this man has a small wiener and maybe the bald eagle came and got half of it that's a fucked up family again they probably are perfectly happy with these why should i have to cover them up this is a beautiful thing with your daddy, like, unless that's like a daddy. Yeah, you'd need a set of balls to do that. Just don't put daddy Near issues under your butt. Your butt. Because... That's our advice, yeah. Th that's a... I mean, I don't know which one... That's like a serious daddy issue. Now she's got poop issues. <laughs> she's just, you know, letting them know her, her uh, suitors that seek her from behind. I don't know, a rose. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has more problems than just this. Look at this. Maybe in this particular case, the the whole black square might <laughs> work on him. I mean, the daddy issues, there's a lot of room on her legs. You could do like something really cool. With lettering, it's like, it's pretty easy to do a cover up. It's like just whatever they want. Having all the freedom sometimes makes it more difficult because you don't even know what to do. But she has a lot of options. She, I guess she can do anything. They break up. It doesn't work. You just add daddy has issues. I would probably just laser that one, laser that one, and then I would add, call me <laughs> daddy. And then, <laughs> the number, of course. Yeah. And you know what, actually, I think it's important to note that it does start on this leg and end on the other leg. That yeah. way people can read it when she's walking. Right. We don't want it to wrap around. Yeah. Why would you want to cover this up, is the question. I don't think there's Why anything not? wrong with yeah. this tattoo. I feel like this is great. This that's is hilarious. Easy. Like, probably makes people laugh on yeah. a regular. Like, yeah. it's perfect. That's it right there. That's it. A little teardrop. All you needed to add was glasses. <laughs> if anything, I would tell him to maybe make the hair go up like that. Yeah, it's not really making that any better, is it? Yeah, that's horrendous. That's not fixable. I would add more texture and more volume, definitely. <laughs> top hat. Well, if he wore one. That could fold onto the top of his head. I or would, he I can just tattoo. constantly just wear one. clip a top hat. Yeah. I think instead of covering up, we are going to make a crown to match this because this dude is the king of his own kingdom. You really gotta align his chakras, so what we're gonna do on this backside is give him a third eye. That way he really feels super, super into the fucking world. He's already got his back watched, so he doesn't have to right, worry about anything right. else. And that guy's pretty badass, too. Yeah, especially with these eyebrows. I mean, we really need to get him up to date on these eyebrows, probably get him in with, like, a salon or something like no, that. No, but they're, it's trendy to have thick eyebrows. It is, but this is a little long, considering the eye socket ends about there. So mm. I know a lot of girls that would complain about oh, that I because understand. that's really where your hair's at. Unless you want right, that going right, into right. a mullet, it wouldn't look too good. Sure. But if you had a mullet, the whole thing would just be much cooler. Yeah, especially a front mullet, and that would cover up his third eye. So I think that's what we're going to go with. It's oh, a front Okay. mullet and then tattoo this gunshot in his head. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't yeah. see any errors with that. Mm, no. This is what I would consider a gimmick tattoo. And uh, in general, I avoid doing gimmick tattoos. If the, if the mustache is higher contrast than the tattoo, then it needs another pass. Head tattoos often heal a little light like that, though. Damn! That's okay. a <laughs> I have actually seen a similar one where it was butterfly wings, and if you like made your booty clap, the butterfly would fly. A flower here, and then like a stupid ass flower here. <laughs> stupid ass flower. That's funny. <laughs> well, I think this is the same girl with a bikini. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's, her back. It, that's her back, yeah. That's her back, that's, that's her arms. All I can see is like these things look more like strawberries to me, to be honest. The problem is the size of that, I think. It's 
huge over there for the park, so not a lot of space around to to work on it. That's a flower. Can you give me a second? You're acting like a real client right it's now. A rose. I would have the client do laser and, and just kind of like try to work our way down and do like a floral piece or something. Yeah, I, I would do a makeover. Somebody who's a good wildlife tattooer could uh, do the right thing here and even out all the crookedness and do some uh, strong shading to develop the right shape here. You want to use the person's body shape. So it's her ass cheek. So you're going to use, what? Well, obviously a circle, right? You and your client have to be able to sit down and take the time. Like people think this happens in an hour and it doesn't. It takes sometimes years. This is more like a medical one. Like this poor guy, like he, he probably keloids every time you took you touch him, so you, you couldn't couldn't really do anything. Definitely, I would double check with the dermatologist before actually doing something on this skin. I think the best bet for something like it's this with the raids, well, I was gonna say bioorganic. You get a lot of texture, replace some of the shapes. Yeah, but if he's prone to keloiding, then yeah, you tattoo those honestly, areas. We wouldn't tattoo him regardless. Gonna, yeah, it's right. just gonna puff up and like the whole thing's gonna be horrible. Nothing if this do. is healed already, then it's fully keloided. Like yeah, you would keloid. have to go to a doctor and get skin grafts, I and mean, you can't do anything about that. It's no, the skin is fucked. Ambulance. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I would say just outline all of it, make travel. This is something wrong with your arm, bro. <laughs> Do you think that's tattoo or laser? Okay, this is really simple. In up here, you put enter, and then down here, you put exit. All right, well, if it's keloiding, you have a 3D tattoo. So what I would do is use the shape of the keloids that you have going on. Fuck it, man, let's make a tree. He's got some branches in there, right? I happen to specialize in covering up scar tissue. So if this person actually came in, I would be thrilled because I could do something cool with this. Yeah, this guy, if, if this guy somehow ends up seeing this, I would like to encourage him to look me up. I would do this. Not this, I would do a much better version of it than I'm capable of in this short amount of time. <laughs>